back to my channel. This is Prepping by Faith. And today I wanna to show you my Walmart in Sam's Club uh, grocery haul. I did pick up some other items that are not grocery related. So my question of the week for you guys is, do you have all of your light sources figured out? So I did pick up this one item from Sam's Club. It is a Honeywell LED 3000 lumen portable rechargeable work light and it was $29.99. I don't know exactly um, how much watts it's going to take to go ahead and recharge it because they don't have that posted on here, but they do tell you that um, it has 3,000 lumens, daylight of 5,000 K, and it's supposed to last for 45 years, which I thought was pretty interesting. I do like the fact that it is collapsible. I think we need to be considering all kinds of different types of light sources. This one I picked up, we do have a lot of the um, solar rechargeable lanterns and flashlights, and we do have battery operated flashlights on hand as well and different um, style lanterns that take regular batteries. But I thought this one might be good in an instance where you had to go inside of a really dark area like your garage and actually work on something but keep that door shut because of you know, OPSEC or just safety reasons. So it may be a good idea to have something like this. Other light sources that you might wanna consider, obviously candles, um, we do have the oil type lanterns with the wicks and that sort of thing. Those are awesome to have as well. We do have some of that stuff stocked up. Um, other things that you might want to consider, you could go ahead and have those little, I don't know if you guys, I've seen them. I think I've shared them for my Dollar Tree haul, but there's all kinds of varieties of these where you just attach them to your wall and then you just press a button and then the light comes on. And those are awesome to have for you know, little small dark areas like bathrooms or closets, and they do uh, require batteries. My mother-in-law actually uses a whole bunch of those all over her house now just to save on electricity. So let's figure out our light sources. That is going to be um, what I want you guys to focus on this week. So that is something I picked up. These I thought were really kind of cool. So these I got at Sam's Club as well. They're called a craft growler, and what they are is they have the ability to hold uh, cold liquids for 48 hours. It's leak proof. It has a dual opening lid. Um, and then from what I understand, the lid can actually um, be converted and you can drink out of that as well, which is really kind of cool. So it's great for, you know, taking with you camping, using if you needed to bug out, I mean, I guess it could be a little bit heavy, but the other thing is, is that um, I feel like if a lot of us are concerned about grid down scenarios, this would be a wonderful way to keep your liquids um, cold. And then I guess it also keeps hot liquids for up to 12 hours, but the main function obviously would be to keep those things cool. I do have um, thermoses and other things as well. So, but this I just thought was really kind of neat because it looks like it's going to hold quite a bit of liquid in this container, 64 ounces. So I got two of these for $20. I got the stainless steel and then I also got this blue, this light blue colored one. So maybe think about something like that. I did pick up some more Lysol just to have on hand. Um, as many of you know, we had the big C go through our house. So I like to keep that just to kind of keep things nice and clean and fresh. So we do have that. I picked up some more of these Jiffy corn muffin mixes. These are still some of the best deals on the market, in my opinion. 60 cents each, make six muffins. Wonderful thing to have on hand. I did pick up some more of these ragu um, pouches. I got the one that is the traditional sauce, and then I did get some of the meat sauce. This one was $2.78, and I think the other one was $2.92. Now, those would be great um, for bugging out or even a situation where you wanted to hand something out, but you didn't want to hand out an entire jar of sauce. Back here, um, I did pick up some more of these diced tomatoes. These have gone up to $0.96 cents a can. I got two of these. They were $0.88 cents for forever. I got a couple jars of the ragu old world style marinara sauce. This is one, um, I do buy the great big jars from Sam's Club, but I like to have these little glass jars as well because they do have a longer shelf life, but also because there's some things that I like to make for lunch and stuff where I don't maybe want to open up that huge jar of sauce 
Um, and I obviously freeze it when we don't eat it all, but this is an easier way for just making smaller batches of things for lunch instead of great big dinners. Now these were $1.96 each. I did get some jars of molasses. Molasses is a wonderful thing to have on hand because this is a way that you can go ahead and make um, your brown sugar yourself. So you can add, I believe it's a couple tablespoons of molasses to a cup of sugar to make yourself brown sugar. Because as we know, brown sugar tends to get hard really quickly. So this would be a wonderful way to make your own brown sugar. I do also have over here some Martha White um, blueberry muffin mix. I got a couple of those. I got a wild berry, a chocolate chip, and a banana nut. Now some of them are 98 cents and then there was a couple that were $1.08, but all you need to do is add a little bit of milk, which is amazing because, you know, you might want something like that for breakfast or whatever in a grid down situation. And I know some people are going to be like, well, how are you going to bake? Well, I actually have um, a video that's going to be coming out soon. I need to go ahead and get this thing out there, but I do have a solar oven and I want to test that out and share some of that with you guys because I think those are wonderful to have in our preps. And then the other thing I have over here that I thought was really a good item to pick up, I love this country pasta. I don't know if you guys have tried this or not, but it definitely tastes homemade. I like to use this when I make my homemade um, chicken noodle soup. This is such a really tasty noodle. So if you guys see this anywhere in your stores, go ahead and pick up um, a bag to try and let me know what you guys think. So they are $2.67 each. I got two of these. And then the other thing I found that I really thought was neat, I don't know if you guys have seen these or not. I've never seen these. So Campbell's has a Fiesta nacho cheese um, soup mix now, which I thought would be wonderful to add to my preps, especially when you want, you know, something spicy, cheesy, but maybe you aren't going to have enough cheese on hand because eventually you will run out. It's nice to have something that is more shelf stable to go ahead and make, um, you know, your nachos or maybe a, some sort of a spicier casserole that you wanted to throw together or whatever. So these I thought were really nice to throw in the preps. I did get four of those. They were a $1.72 each. I also picked up a couple cans of their broccoli cheese because I have a couple different casseroles that I like that um, actually uses a broccoli cheese sauce um, of a frozen nature, but I thought this might be a really excellent substitute for that casserole. I also found a couple cans of cream of mushroom with roasted garlic, and who doesn't like garlic? I love garlic, so I thought this might be really good also for some casseroles, um, and you could probably mix and match some of that. So if you wanted to throw in a cream of mushroom with the garlic and then also add a can of cream of chicken soup or something to it to get some of that chicken flavor in there as well, why not? So I got a couple of those. I did get some more of this. Um, I never say this right, guys. Farfae, I think is how you're supposed to say it. I got a couple boxes of that because I like to use that in some of my pasta dishes and we've been using that down. So $1.58 for those. I got some more Alfredo sauce, $6.78 for a three pack of these from Sam's Club. These bagels that my husband discovered last week are the best deal, I believe right now, $1.58 for one of these. This is in the refrigerator section. We did get a thing of eggs. And it's sitting on this because one of them um, got broken. So isn't that nice? So this is just 12 large eggs, um, and these are $2.36. I got a package of sliced cheese. This was $3.38. I did go ahead and pick up some more ground beef. I did get some chicken, but my mom actually picked me up some of that the other day when she went to the store, so that's why it's not out here. They finally did get some of that fresh chicken breast in stock. Um, that I do like so I'm going to be paying her back for that purchase but she did pick me up some of that and I, it is three dollars and 28 cents a pound still so we got that um, I did get one of these Asian chopped salad kits I don't know if you guys have seen these um, I would imagine in your Sam's Club they probably have them in Walmart too two dollars and 48 cents for this I just like to add these you know as something a little bit of a fresh vegetable or something to add when I make some chicken dishes and things at home so that I picked up. I did get a melon. You got to have some fresh stuff in there. This guy was $4.22. These Vidalia onions are getting really expensive. I guess I didn't realize how much they were when I went to go buy them. So these were $5.30, I believe, or $0.38. Cents. 
which seems like a lot um, for some sweet onions. They didn't have any that were just regular general sweet onions, or I would have got those, but this is what they had, so this is this is what I had to get this week. Um, and then I also got some of these blueberry muffins, six pack, $4.48. Did pick up some chips. These were $4.48. I believe these have gone up quite a bit because I thought these were a lot less than that. I wanted to say they were like $3.99 or maybe less than that at Sam's Club at one time. Chips are going up in price. Everything is, right? This was $3.52 for some creamer for my husband's coffee. I did go ahead and get another lactate for my youngest. Um, I think this is still the same price, $3.48. Hasn't gone up. We did get some ice cream. This is now $7.99 instead of the $7.47, I believe, that it was before. So it is getting more expensive, but it is a full half gallon, and we do really like that brand. So this is my haul, guys. I just wanted to share with you, of course, water. Always pick up a couple cases of water every single week, $5.18. And this is just a smaller haul, but I wanted to share it with you because there are a few items in it that are a little bit different and I think they may help you in your prepping endeavors. So if you guys have enjoyed this video, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And remember to pray, prep, and put God first. God bless.